welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss Aries and Aries compatibility when it comes to love and business relations. So with Aries, this is a quite basic video just because um, the Aries is a, it's a fairly straightforward zodiac sign. Uh, they're very much this sort of bullheads in organizations. They like to really get ahead just through sheer aggression, willpower, stamina. Uh, they can be a bit impulsive when it comes to spending and making certain decisions, especially with intimate relations. So if two Aries people meet each other, let's say it's an Aries man and an Aries woman, the Aries man will most likely initiate the relationship and get things going, but the Aries woman will still not back down from that said relationship. And because of how she's used to being treated in regular life, uh, she may just um, want to kind of be the man in that relationship as well, kind of be the dominant person, and that Aries man's going to want the same thing. So the main thing with Aries and Aries relationships is that there's going to be a battle for dominance. Um, when it's like that, you just got to be very, very careful. Understand that you guys are there to work with each other, not against each other. And it's more so about actually getting things done with you guys' cardinal energy that you possess. If you're able to use that cardinal energy to actually get ahead, then you're going to be able to actually defeat a lot of people, a lot of your opposition, and then get ahead step by step by planning and doing things together. Without that dynamic, without those principles understood, then this is going to be sort of like a rocky relationship. Um, where it's just fire against fire and then nothing ends up getting done. Uh, when it comes to business, it's slightly better just because with business, there's always a sort of set of principles already laid out, um, a, a common goal. So if there's a partnership for business, then you guys have obviously already discussed like who's going to play what role, what you're going to do. The only challenge here would just be um, who's going to make more decisions, the executive person. Um, but if you can actually dish that out equally or include a third party in helping you make decisions, then that'll work a lot better. Only other really advice that I have for the Aries and Aries um, man-woman dynamic uh, would sort of be just to make sure that you're careful with when you're choosing your partner. Just because Aries is such a confident sign, when it comes in your sun position, it makes you guys very, very confident and just feeling like you can just make decisions on the fly just through your emotions. Um, that's not necessarily true. What you want to do is make sure that you acknowledge your partner for who they are, whether you're a man or a woman, and acknowledge the partner that you have and say, do they share my ideals? Do we have the same interests? All these things would apply to anybody, but I have to make sure I really break this down to areas just because they tend to really just rush into things with a sort of almost arrogance when it comes to relationships. Like they can just make things work no matter what, just because of who they are and what they do. Um, some primary businesses that I'd recommend for Aries is anything to do if you get a job like being a firefighter, um, anything to do with oil and mining, welding. The reason I bring those up is because it's related to the fire, it's related to that element. And there's even with the elements in our zodiac signs, there's actually clues there as of what we should actually be doing. Um, the main thing for Aries though is being an innovator, an inventor, an investor, an entrepreneur. Uh, the reason being is because this is a cardinal force, it's an initiating force, and that initiating energy is what brings forth new things and new beginnings. So my recommendation is that if you're gonna do a business, do it by yourself, but if you wanna do a business with somebody else, just make sure that a lot of this stuff, like I said, is covered, what your goals are gonna be, what the prerogative is, the time scale, all those things need to be covered in order to get a maximum competence, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, but like I said, guys, those are the ideal jobs, occupations. When it comes to business, anything that you guys want to initiate, if you put your mind to it, you guys can most likely manifest it. In relations, listen to your partner, understand your partner, and then hear he or she's perspective, and then compromise with that. All right, so that should conclude it for today, guys. I and mean, tomorrow I'll be back with Aries with Taurus Love and Business Compatibility. If you guys do have any questions regarding this, just please let me know in the comments. Aside from that, like, subscribe, Follow me too for today, guys. Peace.